21st Century Comics. You won the giveaway from last week, comic fam. Enjoy your hot comics list. Another week, another list of the comics defining this generation of collectors at the table with a good friend. His name is Jem, the leader of the Gempire, Jem Mint from Jem Mint Collectibles. How you feeling, brother? What's going on, Comic Tom? I'm feeling great. I'm excited to jump into this list because there's some familiar faces, but a few books that we've never discussed before. ComicTom101.com, link in the description to support both shows. We teamed up with Dynamite. We teamed up with horror legend Ben Templesmith to bring back the boy. Boys number one from 2006, Garth Ennis Goodness, one per box in the July mystery mail call. This combo exclusive is going in every single box. This is our first joint exclusive and we get a reprint of a key monumental issue. The boys issue one with that creepy, almost zombie like Homelander done by Ben Temple Smith. You got to jump on this one. Get comic books from us every single month. Slap that like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned to the end of the video. You know, we got a giveaway on deck and let's start them off at the list at number 10 like we do every single week chatting about some america chavez goodness that's right coming in at number 10 we have vengeance issue one but not the a cover we're talking about the mike diodato variant which is the first appearance of america chavez members are trying to secure what key comics they can of characters that may affect the multiverse because dr strange multiverse of madness is coming march 25th early next year we have some record breakers to discuss these records will make a little more sense when we compare the census count of another comparable next-gen hero, Miles Morales. There are a total of 146 copies that are currently unsigned and graded of the Dejevic variant of Ultimate Fallout 4 when there is a lonely 77 copies graded at 9.8, nearly half the amount of Vengeance Number 1, the 1 in 15 variant. And what's crazy about reporting on this record-breaking sale is that there are five record-breaking sales in a CGC 9.8. The previous record was $3,100, which was set back in April. We had a sale for $3,500, for $3,700, two sales for $3,800, and then the big boy up 42%, selling for $4,400. Five record-breaking sales this very week. Hot damn comic fam. Let's take a look at the next book on the list at number nine, the first appearance of Hank Pym, who would later become Ant-Man, who would later become Goliath, Giant Man, and Yellow Jacket. We have Tales to Astonish, issue number 27 to talk about. A 3.5 sold back in April for $3,250, and that is up 23%, selling for 4K, and the 4.0 can't even keep up. Prior record in May was set for 3812 and that's up 2%, selling for less than what a 3.5 just went for at $3,900. Price correction is inbound. It's got to be Quantum Mania hype, everyone. We got a CGC 6.0, which sold for $5,200 back in April, up 15%, now selling for $6,500. Next on the list at number eight is Tomb of Dracula number 10, the first appearance of Blade. That's right, Tomb of Dracula 10, the first appearance of Blade. We've known since 2019 that a Blade movie has been in development, and it's rumored that Dracula and Werewolf by Night are going to be the antagonist. A CGC 3.5 sold for $750 last week. That's up 44% now selling for 1080 The 5.0 is up as well. Back in May going for 1400 up 21% going for $1,700 this week. And then we got the CGC 9.8. This book sold for $25,000 back in April and it's up 15% now selling for $28,800. We know that Marvel hired the same playwright and story editor as HBO's Watchmen so this movie is well underway. Moving on to number 7, kind of just foreshadowed it, we got Werewolf by Night 32 the first appearance of Moon Knight. We have the origin of Moon Knight. We have Oscar Isaac getting an all prepared to hit the screen with a bang for a book that's been specced on heavily well before any announcements ever began. A 6.0 back in April going for 1950 up 8% just broke the 2K marker selling for 2100 this week. And then we got that 9.2 back in April going for 7888 up 14% 
hitting the $9,000 marker for the first time in comic history. Then we got the next grade point up, a CGC 9.4, which sold for $11,135 in May, up 75%, now selling for $19,500. I can't wait to see what they do with this show. I'm loving Loki. I've been digging all of the Marvel Disney Plus shows, so I'm really excited for this one. And number six on the list, we got Hulk 141. That's right. We're not talking about Hulk 181. We're talking about the first appearance and origin of Doc Sampson in Hulk 141, a character that got a lot of love during the Al Ewing Immortal Hulk run. But I suspect that this comic is making our list today less because of spec and more because of the low census count and how difficult it is to secure in high grade. The census reports only 52 copies graded at a 9.6 and only 23 that are graded at a 9.8. Something to keep top of mind, comic fans, is that a lot of the spec for Hulk has been focused on She-Hulk and the upcoming Disney Plus described as a comedy type of show. Let's also consider this, though. Al Ewing's Immortal Hulk run spiked a number of back-issue books because of the story. And now that we know that Donny Cates is moving from Venom to taking on a narrative about Bruce Banner teaming up with Ryan Otley, it opens the doors for spec on so many Hulk characters again. And if I know Donny Cates, he's going to take something obscure, maybe a character or an event or something from Hulk lore and make it epic. We got a CGC 8.0. This book sold for $340 back in April. It's up a mere three percent now selling for 350 but those higher grade books that we mentioned that cgc 9.6 which sold for 1080 dollars back in march is up 76 percent now selling for 1900 and tom hit him with that 9.8 the 9.8 went for 2500 dollars back in 2019 and that is up 62 percent with an all-new high of 4050 dollars Will this low CGC census count keep this book up or will it be the bad boy of comics? I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below because you know he's going to be bringing Doc Sampson to these pages. And let's chat about number five on the list with some Hercules and Zeus goodness. We're talking Journey into Mystery Annual Number 1, the first Marvel Silver Age appearance of the Olympian gods Zeus and Hercules. We already know that Russell Crowe is cast to be the All-Father Zeus. Is he going to survive Thor Love and Thunder? It's a good question, considering that we know Christian Bale is slated to be the God Butcher. There's got to be a god that dies by the Necro Sword. Will it be Zeus? A major celebrity is probably not going to be doing a whole lot in the Marvel Cinematic Universe when he could be leading his own movies. I digress because we have a major key comic book that's very thick and difficult to secure in high grade with a all-time record breaker that we reported on back in February, a 9.8 selling for $73,000. It was only a matter of time before we saw some price correction in the lower grades. We have a mid-grade copy, a CGC 5.5, which sold for $500 in April, up 68%, now selling for $840. In July, a 6.0 went for $485, and that's up 72%, now selling for $835. So you know a price correction is coming on that one as well. Then we have the CGC 7.0, which sold for $2,000 in June, up 20%, now selling for $2,400. I've never been a big fan of the Hercules character in Marvel Comics, but I'm definitely excited to see Russell Crowe play Zeus. Almost as excited as I am to see Uncle Scrooge on this list. We got Christmas on Bear Mountain. That's right. We're talking about Four Color, issue number 178, the first appearance of Uncle Scrooge, and some major record breakers because there is only one 9.6 in existence, and it's sold this week. This is a book you don't see come to the market too often, and besides that lone 9.6 sale, we have a couple of other record breakers as well. A CGC 3.0 sold for $311 back in August. It's up 132%, now selling for $720. Then we have the 9.2. This book sold for $8,400 in 2019, and it's up 36%, now selling for $11,400. Now, considering there's no historical record for the 9.6, the closest thing we can find to compare to is a 9.4 that sold in 2011 for $10,500, making this next price almost make sense. I don't suspect to see Uncle Scrooge anytime soon hitting the MCU. We have a 9.6 selling for $90,000 this week. Man, you got to have Uncle Scrooge type money to get this book. Moving <laughs> so on over true. to number three on the list, we have Daredevil Issue 1, a Silver Age blue chip key which never really got much love. 
until all of a sudden it did. That's right. Foggy Nelson, Karen Page, that yellow Matt Murdock on the cover in that costume. We have a book that hit $250,000 for a CGC 9.8 back in March, causing a bunch of price correction, starting with the entry level grade at a 0.5 back in 2019, could have been secured for $745, up 155% this week, selling for an all new high for the first time ever of $1,900. Yeah, then we got a CGC 9.2, which sold for $15,200 back in 2018, almost doubling in price, 97% increase with this $30,000 sale. We've seen growth in sales behind all grades for this blue chip book across multiple auction sites. We're talking Heritage. We're talking eBay. We're talking Comic Link. And if you want to keep up with all of these price changes, the rapidly moving market, well, you got to download Key Collector Comics, the best comic app in existence. And utilize that code TOM101 for a free two-week subscription of the app and to support the show. Definitely worth it. Key Collector puts in the work, tracking these sales every single week to make sure that you're updated. And now at the list at number two, we have one of my favorite covers of all time. We have Silver Surfer issue number four, the first battle between Silver Surfer and Thor, and one of the most classic covers to date. We have the second appearance of Mephisto and some major records that were just set this week. There's only 24 copies graded at 9.8 currently on the census, and it's showing in the price hikes. Definitely celebrated as one of the most iconic Marvel Comics covers of all time. A CGC 6.0 sold for $1,325 in May. It's up 13%, now selling for $1,500. Then the 6.5, that book sold for $1,550 just last week at the time of recording, and it's up 8%, now selling for $1,680. Buckle up, comic fam. We've been waiting for this day to happen for quite some time. We've been reporting on the price hikes of the 9.2s, the 9.4s, and even the surprising growth the 9.6 had. But we've been waiting for the 9.8 and it landed this week. Prior record was in 2019, selling for $16,800. Now a mind-blowing price, up 436% this week, selling for a record high of $90,000. Woo! Hot damn, Comic Fam. Hit that like button, Comic Fam. Slap the subscribe. It'll enter you to win a TMNT 109 sketch cover by the very talented John Boy Myers. And Jem hit him with the number one hottest book, this week this book is so hot it's on fire we're talking marvel spotlight issue five the first appearance of johnny blaze the ghost rider we're seeing price hikes and a lot of movement on a book where we've actually heard nothing besides rumors concept art circling post the hulu announcement that not only johnny blaze was gonna happen to start a whole supernatural line on that streaming service teaming up with the midnight suns and hellstrom but that was all canceled where is Johnny Blaze now? Well, blue chip books have been spiking to all hell, and this comic book is trying to bring us down there as well. We have a 3.5 back in April going for $1,000, up 25% this week, selling for an all-new high of 1250 Then we have the 5.0. This book sold for $1,325 back in April, and it's up 43%, selling for $1,900. Tom, can these percentage increases get any bigger? I think so, Jim. I suspect it can, especially when you consider there are only four CGC 9.8s on census to date, with a last record being recorded in 2016. The price was set back then at $48,500 for this very difficult book to secure in high grade because of that black cover. This week, an all-new high, an increase of 444% since the last recorded sale. We have the highest sale for any Bronze Age comic book to date. Historical record-breaking sales have been recorded. The numbers are in, selling for an all-new high of $264,000. That is crazy. There are only four in existence. One finally hits the market and goes for over a quarter million dollars. It's a historical moment for the comic book market. Absolutely, my friend. We're going to be back at the mic to keep track of all of these historical records being set. So hit that subscribe button, slap the like button, and as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. We got two other videos for you to check out. Keep up with us. We have an honorable mentions video we release every week for those 
single price record breakers that didn't quite make the hot 10, but you still need to know about. And you know, we got the podcast for you. Have a good week.